And now I'm actually setting up a machine and, and even a new machine, you should do this. You should know how to set up a spindle molder in terms of uh, getting the spindle at 90 degrees to the table. Specifically important when I'm uh, running stuff like this because if that's 90 at 360 degree tramming, which is usually done with milling machines, where you just put a dial indicator and we want that to read as accurate as possible. That is a perfect square. It means the table is, is perfect. So I can use it to tram this and get that. So I've only had to find the supporting center. Now this, uh, this is the bearing support. So when I have really tall spindles, which you have ones up to here, it puts a bearing up there and we can run extremely tall profiles. So I've added a little shim stock under the table to make it perfect. And the whole table all the way around it's within a half a thou, but it's less than that at the area which I work. There's a little bit of pitting, there's some wear in the table. I'll show you the dial. Now, uh, as long as you keep it in the same spot on the spindle, it's not going to read run out. This is just reading the 90 of the table. And so we're going to, so what are we there? We're just a little past half. We'll come sweep around. And we're, oh, you know, half a thou, right? You know, it's, it's maybe. What are we there? You know, zero. Uh, what is that? Half, half a thou from there to there. Uh, 12, 14 inches, you know, a sheet of paper is, uh, well, 3,000. So that's probably accurate enough for a spindle molder. So now I can start setting up the bearing supports. Look at how tall that baby is. Is that disgusting or what?